Welcome back everyone. How realistic is the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024? This is a question I've been asking myself since the release of the sim and I have committed myself to finding the answer. So let's jump right into it. Now I like to experiment a lot. I guess this is a habit that we software developers have. And when I say a lot, I really mean a lot. We're gonna take a look at different areas and I'm going to split this into a series of videos starting with the astronomic and celestial body simulation. So this will be part one of this video series and the first thing we are going to explore are eclipses. I'm sure a lot of you know what an eclipse is. We're starting with solar eclipses and I'm only interested in a total solar eclipse. So a solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between our beautiful earth and the sun, therefore casting the shadow of the moon over a specific area on earth. The most recent total eclipse was this year in April 8th and it was visible over Mexico, the United States and Canada. It was also visible in other parts of the world but it was only a partial eclipse and like I said before I'm only interested in a total eclipse. Alright, enough with the science lesson, let's take a look at that here in the sim 2020 first. So here we are in Dallas, Texas in the flight sim 2020 and let me show you the weather panel as you can see we have now april 8th 2024 and around 1 pm local time let's take a look at the sun and all right it is covered now let's change the time to the maximum of the totality which was around 1 40 pm local time and as you can see the shadow of the moon is not covering the sun completely and this will not change this will stay like this or be even less than this this is the maximum that the simulator can handle and if we change let's say the day one day to the past as you can see no solar eclipse again 8th april and 9th april and most importantly this is not affecting any daylight, it is just completely bright. Okay, now we are over Santiago in Chile. The eclipse was not visible here, not even partially. And if we take a look at the date and time again, April 8th, 2024, around 3.14 p.m. local time. Let's take a look at the skies and as you can see, it is visible right here which was not the case in real life so in the flight sim 2020 the eclipse is visible but it had a few issues the moon did not cover the sun completely it didn't went dark on earth so we still had full visible daylight and most importantly the eclipse was visible in parts of the world where it was simply impossible to see now let's change to the new flight simulator 2024 so back in Dallas, Texas again in the new flight simulator 2024, I have activated the developer mode just to have more control over the time and date right here compared to the 2020 sim. As you can see 2024 April 8th, it is 6 p.m. UTC which is around 1 p.m. local time. Let's advance further and further in time and just notice how the daylight is starting to go away. Let's take a look at the skies now and this is just amazing. This is how I expect a solar eclipse to look like. If we advanced even further more to 41 or 42, you can see that this is now maximum totality. You can see that the sun is gone completely. Take a look at the ground right now and complete darkness, which is just simply amazing. And if we advance further in time, we can see that the daylight is starting to come again. Like this. Take a look at the sky again and now it is looking like a crescent. Nice, very, very nice. I was really surprised when I saw that the first time, so I just needed to show you that. Let's switch over to Santiago and see if this is 
visible or not. Welcome to Santiago in Chile. I have already set up the correct date, April 8th, 2024 at around 6 p.m. UTC. Now let's take a look at the sun. Looks very bright. And if we now change the time to the maximum totality, which was around 6.42, 6.41 UTC. As you can see, nothing is changing. Still the same bright sun as before. No shadow of the moon, no obscuring of the daylight, not even partially. It was simply not visible in South America. And this is exactly how I would expect it to be. Now I wouldn't call myself an explorer if I only do half measures. What is the other eclipse that we all know of? Of course a lunar eclipse which is the eclipse of the moon. And again a little bit of science. A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon moves into the shadow of the earth causing the moon to be darkened either partially or completely. Also here we are only interested in a full lunar eclipse. So the most recent total eclipse of the moon I have found was in 2022 May 15th to 16th and it happened mainly over South America. So here we are at a local airport somewhere in Brazil. Sierra Juliet Bravo Tengu is the ICAO code for this airport. It's a local airport. And I have set the date and time to May 16th again. The maximum totality was at around 4.11 a.m. UTC. And as you can see, it is not modeled at all. And now the same airport and the same date and time for the flight sim 2024 with the exact same results. Unfortunately, it is also not modeled in the flight sim 2024. So to conclude, after seeing the solar eclipse being modeled, I was hoping that we can expect the same with the moon, at least for the 2024 sim. Unfortunately this wasn't the case, but in the end at least we can enjoy a solar eclipse in the new flight simulator totally. Even if it's not happening in your current location in the real world, you could just attend and pretend to be there. So did the new flight sim pass the realism test when it comes to eclipses? I would say it surely did. This concludes this first part of this series and if you liked it, please hit that like button. And if you don't want to miss out on the other parts, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.